Hi, this is Alex from Minute Earth. You're probably sitting down right now, or maybe you're standing, but it's unlikely that you're watching this video while playing baseball or going for a run or rock climbing. In fact, if you're like most people, you're not very active even when you're not watching YouTube videos. In the United States, for example, three quarters of all people fail to meet recommended guidelines for physical activity, and some countries are even less active. That's a problem, because when people aren't physically active, we're more anxious, we sleep worse, and we have fuzzier memories and shorter lifespans than if we were active. We also have a higher risk of cancer, heart attack, diabetes, obesity, stroke, Alzheimer's, depression, and tons of other health problems. If all of us were to exercise more, each year, the world could save over 5 million lives and $50 billion in healthcare costs. But unfortunately, that's really hard, because it seems to require fighting against our genetics. Way back in the day, we spent tons of energy finding enough food to survive. So ancient people who took it easy when they weren't searching for food replenished more energy than people who also did pointless physical activity. As a result, they weren't as likely to get exhausted while hunting and gathering, and thus were more likely to succeed in finding food, surviving, and reproducing. Modern studies have suggested that different genetic factors predispose us to be more or less active, and can be passed along. So it's likely that our ancestors, at least the ones who survived, had genes that promoted taking it easy that got passed along and along and along, all the way to us. But now that most of us don't need to throw things or run or climb rocks to get food, our natural preference for taking it easy has taken over. Sure, some people still do these things as exercise, which is what we call it when you intentionally do physical activity for the purpose of improving your health, but that's not enough of a motivator for most people. So most people take it easy, which, as we mentioned before, leads to a ton of problems. That's why some people are calling for us to reincorporate more non-exercise physical activity back into modern life. If we built fewer roads and more paths, it would be easier for people to use their own power to get to school or work. If we put stairways at the main entrance to buildings rather than hiding them in a back corridor, more people would use them rather than elevators. If our airports had fewer human conveyor belts, more people would walk. If we turned our lawns into gardens, we could be active by raising and gathering food. And if we took otherwise inactive pursuits, like gaming, and combined them with a the physical activity, more people would have more reasons to be active. Of course, it wouldn't be easy to redesign entire communities and make new norms, like showing up to work stinky. And most people wouldn't be able to easily incorporate enough incidental physical activity into their daily life. So to be healthy, most of us would still probably need to intentionally exercise, in addition to being incidentally physically active. Which means that even if you've been watching this 3 minute Minute Earth video from your treadmill desk, you should still probably go outside and run around for a minute. This video was sponsored by the University of Minnesota, where students, faculty, and staff across all fields of study are working to solve the grand challenges facing society. One of these challenges is advancing health through tailored solutions, including by promoting physical activity. Beth Lewis, the director of the School of Kinesiology, is working to identify which types of behavioral interventions are most effective at increasing physical activity among adults, and she's also documenting the effects of increased activity on mental health. For example, her research has found that higher levels of exercise are related to a lower risk of postpartum depression among new mothers. Thanks University of Minnesota! 